We are the Big Ski <laughs> Family. <laughs> big Ski Family. We're coming to you from live from Lake Tahoe, the shores of a beautiful mansion. Oh, okay, go. Here we go. Okay. We're the Big Ski Family, coming to you from beautiful Lake Tahoe. And this week we had an opportunity to try four point <laughs> bars. <laughs> guys, it's really fun when someone gives us product. And guys, I think by far the favorite bar for me was peanut butter. Oh. No. Coffee. Coffee. Apple. Coffee. Apple. 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 Espresso. Actually, banana. Coffee. Banana. Coffee. Espresso. 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 Apple. Apple. Well, there you go, guys. We are very tight on our consensus <laughs> of what makes a great a bar, but these are plum based, super natural, super good. Thank you to Four Points <laughs> yes. uh, for letting us try them out. Thank you. And uh, guys, go get some Four Points bars. So, come Bear, on, before on. we came down to uh, Lake Tahoe, we were at the house. What went on there? Um, we did some yard work. Yeah. And so we went out and fixed three fences. Nice. I mean, three posts on the fence. Oh, that's even different. <laughs> and then we um, uh, raked out the planters yeah. and put all the leaves in the pasture. Many hands make light work, right? Yeah. Everybody pitched in. Why, why we were why we were um, there at the house in Bend? We got an invitation for a special dinner. Yeah. Yes. How we was went that? Over to Graham's house. such an intentional grandmother she really makes an effort to connect with each of the grandchildren and I think how many grandchildren we have I don't know we we have two <laughs> sorry <laughs> how many grandchildren does she have like 49 I think 49 yes do you guys feel special yeah, yeah. oh yeah. man do you even feel special yep and you too mm -hmm. okay hey, don't leave out grandpa he's oh, in there with her grandpa feels yeah. special too <laughs> <laughs> We love Grandpa. I'm Chad Johnson. I'm coming to you from Indianapolis, Indiana. Well, actually on the road between there and Lexington, Kentucky. My, I've been up here uh, doing some business in Indiana for this at the Society of Glass and Ceramic Decorators, which is my core business. And I realize I'm three hours away from Lexington, Kentucky, which is where my new uh, son-in-law, Adam, and our second oldest daughter, Kyla, now live. And I'm gonna pop down there and surprise Kyla. So I took a quick moment to drop by Costco and grab uh, Kyla, my daughter, some flowers. I'm so excited, I'm so pumped. At this little neighborhood. Oh my word, these little houses are charming. They're not little, nice houses. Your destination is on the left. Uh, 1857, so I got the right address, I think. Kyla, here I come. <laughs> oh my goodness, are you serious? Did this you know that was happening? <laughs> he knew it was happening. Are you serious? He knew it was happening. <laughs> oh. I'm here with Adam and Kyla. Look yeah. at these Four. two in their new little home. In uh, Not new, little. It's new home. Yes. And it is literally brand new, is it not? Yeah. So no one's lived in it. No one's lived in it nope. except these two right here. Yep. Hi, and Adam, we and love me. you and, oh, and their happy little so home. Grateful. And look at this. Kyla is just so doing awesome. her magic. It was such a treat to pop in and see her in her new habitat, in her new home with Adam there. And they were so hospitable. They rolled out the red carpet for me and just got to spend the night with them in their new home. And it was a treat. 
So we headed down to Tahoe to tie in with some of our favorite people. Who was it, Kobo? Our cousins, um, mama, sister, and um, their whole family. We rented what? a cabin together, and that's the first time we've ever um, rented a cabin with another family, and that's we had really a blast. Fun. Right here, right here at the lake. Right here at the lake. Silly salmon, kind of backflips, all that. One of our our family traditions. <laughs> the Dindolks jumped right in because they're part of the family. We all broke ice together. So we got Sean Connery here, world free skiing champion, right? Something like yeah, that. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> and the Big Ski family has been following this guy on Instagram and digging everything he does. And we run into him in a junior little pipe over here. And so super we're just gonna, pipe. the super duper, Ali Ooper. Ali Ooper. All right. All righty. Have some fun, Sean. Yeah. We're cheering. Yeah. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Here he goes. Here he goes. Here he goes. Boom. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Have some fun, guys. Rad packet. Yeah, don't wait too long. Wait till he's three quarters. There he goes. Mixing it up. Here goes Bear. Oh, Baylor, you got hooked up. Bear. Go, Kimmy. Go, Chloe. Go. Yeah, boost. Go, Kimmy. Yeah. The whole gang. All right, so about three weeks ago on Instagram, I saw Johnny Mosley post a post about showing, 30th anniversary showing of Blizzard of Oz. All right, hey crew, where are we headed? The Blizzard of Oz. 
Yeah, baby. <laughs> Glenn Plake, Scott Schmidt, Mike Hattrup, Greg Stomp, Johnny Mosley, all these guys were gonna be at the same place, same event, watching a replay of that movie. These are the guys that really inspired me as a 14, 15, 16, 17 year old young man to get into the sport of skiing. They were the guys that were kind of pushing the limits and making the things that seemed almost impossible possible. When I saw that on Johnny Mosley's deal, I immediately jumped online and I bought tickets for the entire family. I said, this is an event we need to be at. It was something Peter Glenn Sports was, was sponsoring. You know, Stokely skis are for like real skiers, you know? <laughs> freestyle skiers like you and me. We wouldn't be able to handle stuff like this, you know? All right, who wins the Stokely's? Who wants them? Whoa! I know some of you didn't win them. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't right, dude. <laughs> me and Hatcher. I probably have that, too. See that? Check it out. Look how many times it's been hung up. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so, Wait, this is the father of the 11 I know, we should get together. We gotta already. ski with this guy oh, today. You Are you kidding? Good. I was just telling What's you, you gotta make sure he comes over and says hi to you. unbelievable. All right, good. It's a dream come true. Yeah, it really was for us. A L O E. Hey, the pressure's up. Yeah, That's so cool. Right? Thanks so much. You're welcome. Highlight of our trip was on Wednesday afternoon. We got to the top of Headwall. We get off the chairlift, turn around, and one of the kids said, I think that's Glenn Plake. And who, you can't not recognize Glenn Plake. And sure enough, there's Glenn, there's Kimberly, they ski up, and I go over and we start talking to them, and they go, oh yeah, we gotta get Scott Schmidt in the picture too. And I'm like, no way, Scott Schmidt. And then all of a sudden behind them, they go, and let's get Mike Hattrip too. All three of these legends are on the mountain, top of Squaw Valley. I mean, the Palisades is where, you know, Schmidtitz is named after Scott Schmidt that took this just crazy sickest line up there. Guys, this is for real, right there in the orange jacket. Scott Schmidt, right there. Up there in the flannels, doing play. Right to the right, yellow black. For about three, four runs, we skied with Scott Schmidt, Glenn Blake, and Mike Hattrip with my entire big ski family. And, and it was full, so fun because these guys, they're legends, they're great uh, men in the ski industry. But what's fascinating is they were so down to earth. They were so genuine. They were so um, interested in others and so interested in bringing others along and creating a, an experience for everyone on the mountain. And it was so fun because not only were the legends there of my past, but the legends of right now were there. And we literally ran into Julian Carr, we ran into a Connery. Um, these are guys that we look up to that are just I mean, world free skiing champions and extremes. I mean, they've taken the bar and raised it even further. <laughs> and had each one of them from Johnny Mosley, you know, Glenn Plake, Scott Schmidt, uh, Julian Clark, Sean Connery, Mike Hattrip. They all signed it. The kids all got their hats signed. And, and again, just to get pictures, talk with them, to converse with them, and to hear the stories behind. It was a really powerful event. Thanks so much for joining us this week. We've had a wonderful time. Hope you enjoyed going along with us. Subscribe if you haven't. Share, comment. See you next time. All right. Bye-bye.